More effective than drones or thermal optics, a group known as the Black Mambas were recently awarded as the UN's Champions of the Earth. They protect wildlife from dangerous poachers within one of Africa's largest game reserves, Kruger National Park. The group doesn't use any weapons, and they're all women. They, 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 it's hard for a woman to do that kind of job. That's a man's job, so because I was happy about it, I proved them wrong. Our attitude is to make this the most undesirable and unprofitable and most uncomfortable place to poach. So the mamas will detect them quickly and chase and put what we call a disruptive up, you know, so that the poachers run away and just don't get close to the rhinos. The black mambas were created after the reserve lost 19 rhinos in a period of only a few months. The Black Mamba Anti-Poaching Unit was first founded in, in 2013. Snaring dropped 97% in the first year in this region. Their first 13 months of operation, we didn't lose a single rhino throughout the reserve. Still, even till today, in 2016, has dropped by 56%. Craig Spencer was in favour of a model that did not entirely rely on weapons or violence. It's a bit like the British policing model with the bobbies on the beat. We needed people that walked a beat every single day, so they developed this sort of institutional memory, I call it. Everybody must know them, people must feel comfortable to approach them and give them information, ask them questions about things. Women are, in my opinion, much better at that, OK, because they, they observe. So we've got the rangers that are the boots on the ground. We're also listening when we're doing fence patrol, if we can hear anything really suspicious or related to the poachers and the vehicles outside the reserve that are walking at the main roads. When we do sweeping, we're looking for snares and tracks and poachers camps. We're following fresh tracks that leads us to fresh snares that can kill any animal. So if they find a problem, they'll report it on the radio to the operations room and they'll take the next step further either to call in an armed unit or just to notify the supervisors. New members of the Black Mambas begin with four weeks of intensive training on arrest procedures, spotting tracks, searching vehicles and more. During that four weeks, they'll also spend a week learning how to act if they walk into a lion or, or walk into an elephant and what to do to keep themselves safe. And then at the end of that four weeks, they do a two-week paramilitary course. The training was very much hard. Do you trust yourself? Are you patient? Are you strong? Do you want to empower women? Faster, faster. Go, let's go. And that was one of the motivations for Laidem to become a Black Mamba. As a patrolling officer for the past two years, she believes that their success is reshaping roles for women in communities where job opportunities can be limited. All the members are between the ages of 20 and 30, and then they're all from the local communities and villages surrounding Baluli Nature Reserve. The majority of them, when they first arrived, were very shy and didn't really speak out much. After the time that they've spent with us and doing the job there, their confidence levels have absolutely skyrocketed. This job teaches me how to take care of money, how to behave when we are women, waking for yourself. It makes me grow up. In lots of ways, this job changed me. One of the fundamental goals of the Black Mambas program is more than just protecting. It's also about educating and changing the community's attitude about wildlife. Luane Maifala is the Black Mambas education officer who works with the nearby communities. We bring in the Black Mambas into the classroom whereby they teach the learners about what they do in the field. They don't know of that role of animals in the environment. They don't know animals boost our economy. Or what they know is those animals, all of them, they're there to kill them. And for me, it, it allows me to say, no, it's not like that. They have an important role and we need your guys to help us to save these animals. The Greater Kruger National Park, it's three million hectares in total. This is our unique treasure. This is our Louvre. People from around the world have been visiting it for 160 years. We don't want to lose that. And we want the people on the boundaries over here to feel that as well. There was one child, the one who is just here now now, she was the one who said in front of everyone that when I grow up, I want to be like you because you teach us to look after our environment.
To learn how a herd of elephants are protecting rhinos in Nepal, watch this next episode. When a rhino is discovered, they will communicate, and the elephants will move in in a circular formation around the rhino to keep it from uh, running away. Thanks for watching Seeker Stories, and be sure to subscribe for new videos every week.